Welcome back to Facebook Monetization Strategies. In this video, we're going to be talking about the payment systems you're going to be using for your Facebook membership. And in particular, um, you will be manually delivering uh, the membership. Um, so your payment should lead to a thank you page. And when I say manually delivering the membership, that means that you're going to be physically or you're going to be manually putting them inside of Facebook. Now, you there, presently, there isn't necessarily a robust system in order to automate this process. So you want to make sure that um, your 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 buyers get a thank you page, they get a notification. Um, you want to get that notification to your support team. Um, you can use in order for your payment systems. Any of the affiliate programs will do. JVZoo, Warrior Plus, or ClickBank. And all of them have spaces inside of their product creation area for for you to be able to designate a thank you page. Now, that's where we kind of want to talk about how you want to make this transition from your, your members paying and then quickly getting into the membership content. Um, you want to send your members to a sign up page um, and, and an opt in immediately after the sale. This is pretty important because, um, and you can actually use your autoresponder in order to do this. And I'll show you how to do that right now. You're looking at the page creation or the field creation uh, space inside of GetResponse. It's the same in, in just about any other autoresponder. You can add some additional fields there if you want to. Pretty much all you're going to need is the name and email address. Now, the most important thing that we're going to kind of talk about here is the settings feature. And when you go to that feature, what you want to do is you want to make sure that uh, when they when they actually get uh, the uh, 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 when they actually get to the thank you page, this is where you want to either place a video telling them that you're going to be manually placing them in there. They're going they need to be a little patient, um, or you know you can tell them that within 24 hours someone's going to get in contact with them, um, and then you want to give them access to your support desk. But you want to make sure that this form is visible on the page and made made available directly after uh, the person actually makes their purchase so that you can put them into the membership and identify them properly. Now, the other thing is that um, you're going to want to publish this page and when you publish this page, you publish the form, you want to put it on a form that's going to be hidden from the search engines. Okay, and so the people are going to be able to sign up to this form and then they're going to be placed inside of the autoresponder. They're also going to give you a notification letting you know that someone has recently signed up. You're going to need to put them into the membership. If you're uneasy using your uh, your your autoresponder, you can use uh, uh, sites like Wufu or Jotform. They allow you to create forms on that page. Um, you can use a paging system like Optimize Press or ClickFunnels. Again, the most important thing is to make sure that page is going to be hidden from the search engines, and so that anyone can't just get a hold of that page and then apply. For now, the other thing you want to think about here um, is is that um, y you know you want to make sure that this this verification process takes place with minimal follow-up. If you've got to do a lot of follow-up, once again, it's not going to be worth your time to administer the actual membership. Now, sending buyers directly to the Facebook page to request access is probably not what you want to do. This is this can lead to other people finding the group, especially if you have a closed group, and then applying and then not necessarily have pay. And then you're going to have to administer whether or not they're part of the group. And so you want to make sure that you start the process by getting people to apply after they have uh, after they have filled out the form on your website and then you can actually physically put them into the membership okay so with that thanks and i will see you in another video